one. Um, I trust this is now being recorded. So I thought I'd come on and have a little chat about uh, motivating your team, motivating your staff. Now, I know that was on my mind constantly when uh, I was running a team. Um, <clears throat> and we used to have a, a, a technique. And, and as I think about it now, it's, it's making me smile as well. Uh, so that technique would be is uh, I would ask everyone, what do you want to be? Do you want to be a victim, survivor, or predator? Now, everyone knew what the answer was. We didn't want a victim. We didn't want a survivor. Which some people have a tendency to say, yeah, I'm sort of survivor. We'd say, no, we want you to be a tiger. And that wasn't because we wanted them to be aggressive. We just wanted them to be positive. If you're going to do something, you're going to be determined, and you're going to do it. But they had to say, yeah, I'm a tiger. And then they had to go, Rawr. So you've got to think about all this team all, all together. And we'd all go around the room and say, so how are you today? Like, you know, what are you going to be? A victim, survivor, or predator? And we'd all have this growl. And of course, the growl would go around the room and you'd see everyone's face change. Everyone's face would change. They would all begin to smile and laugh. And that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted people to smile. I wanted them to laugh. And the reason being is that when they picked up that phone, they were in the right frame of mind. They were happy. And when you speak to somebody and uh, you're talking to them, if you can get that over the phone that you're enjoying what you're doing, you're passionate about it, then for me, that's, that's half the fight. You've got someone in a sort of dullard at the end of the phone. Oh, how are you? What are you doing? Oh, isn't the rain terrible? And it starts off a conversation like that. It's not going to go anywhere. Now, uh, as part of my experience, I also sat on the um, executive uh, table with um, one of the councils in the northwest, <clears throat> and um, I sitting there, and I had explained to them how I was how I motivate people, and it was part of this leisure trust that had been developed. And as a consequence to that, I was invited to the National Sports Centre at Lillishall to give a talk of all the to all these directors the top 250 company now i'm not going to say which company it was and that'll become apparent in a minute but there i was and there must have been about 350 delegates and i had to issue uh, uh, or present to them with regards to how i motivated my team and i remember standing in front of seeing all these people and i used, i'd get a laugh so i and then I was explaining about how I wanted them to answer the phone, how I wanted them to pick up that phone, to talk to people. Anyhow, so as, as I did that, um, hi, Maria. Just quickly say hi to you, Maria. Um, so as, as, as I did that, as um, I was explaining to everybody about what they should do, um, <clears throat> When we got to victim, survivor, and predator, some people were given some answers. And I, again, you get a lot of survivors. I, 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 I want to be a, a survivor. And I'd say, well, why do you want to be a survivor? Is it not best to be a tiger? We want you to be positive. We don't, we don't want you to just to get through life. We want you to be someone that's really experiencing to life, taking it to the to the greatest extent that you possibly can do. We want you to be a tiger. And with that, I went like that. I said, so come on, so let me feel it. I said, I want to really feel this. I want you to give me the tiger. So I had all these top executives, all these top directors from this top 250 com company that were going in in Lennox Hall, in the national stadium, which which was a bit of a, an exhilarating um, experience in itself. Anyhow, um, I could tell as I was talking to them, one of the, well, the HR director stopped me and she said to me, she questioned me in front of everyone, she said to me, and she said, John, I want to know, how loud do you growl? 
And you could really take that she was really, instead of the, the, she didn't see the fun components in it, she was really sort of looking at the uh, learning experience from it, you know, and how she should deliver it. And um, she, I suppose she didn't want to play it by ear. What she wanted to do was a format for it, you know. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so I had to explain, you know, about how long he had to growl for. And then the next question was, how how loud should my growl be? So, so this HR director was really taking taking this in. And what made me laugh was that looking at all these finance directors who suddenly had the realization that they were going to have to go at the beginning of, of, of each day. And you could see it in their face, also looking at and I'm mulling this over. Uh, so really it says something, you know, we have a lot of different types of personalities, you know, but in, in my particular business, communicating and making contact with people was very, very important. And uh, I think anybody in that role, the ability to be able to smile uh, as you're on the phone and to sound playful. I think are really very important elements to what it is that you're trying to deliver because people are uh, more trusting with somebody that's not pushing but wants to share in, and wants you to share in their enjoyment. Well, that's my own personal perspective. Uh, I would love to hear from you and you, you can let me know about what you think and, and above all else, whether you are a victim, survivor or predator. And I'm really, really hoping that uh, there's a lot of predators out there that you really believe in what you're doing, that you're going about it with passion. And I'm going to hear a few uh, as, as, as you communicate with me. So, look, thank you for listening to me. And uh, I really look forward to hear what it is that you have to say. And, uh, of course, how you growl. Speak to you soon.